This is the third part of the particle editor tutorial. I'll be making a nuke effect now. Now you have to have some parts from Hammer, otherwise it would be a really bland particle. So you have to have the shake, you have to have the sound effect and a fade from the beginning, like from white to normal. And some kind of visual indicator, like I have a nuke dropping, it's a prop physics that hits a trigger and it triggers the whole thing. So this is a complicated particle and I'm cutting it up into smaller uh, child particles. And I'm using about nine of those in this tutorial, so this is quite an extensive uh, tutorial on that. And I won't be explaining everything due to this, and I'll just speed it up and you have to pause. And uh, if you get stuck, you just have to uh, try it yourself or ask me personally on the comments. So I'm going to uh, explain some basics now. So I have so many particles because the nuke effect consists of many simpler effects, like the shockwave ring in the beginning, the flash of course, the fireball and the mushroom cloud. And those are the base components. And you can even cut these components into smaller pieces, like the cloud has the cap and the stem of course, so it's two particles. Now you might see that I'm constantly testing the particle in game. Now that's really important. You have to see your results and constantly iterate. And it's really easy if you've done some kind of me mechanic that you can easily test the particle effect like I have. And one thing about the children, uh, the order is really important for rendering, like what particle is on top of uh, what particle. And that's defined by the uh, hierarchy of children. Uh, the one on the top is, I think, la uh, rendered last, and the one on the bottom is rendered first. And always use reference, images, videos, anything you can use to like get the feel of the thing you're trying to make. Always use reference. You won't see it because it's on my other monitor, but I'll, there's a small instance where I bring it to the left monitor. Yeah. 
So we're finally at the end, either you skip to this part or you watch the whole thing, either way is fine as long as you're learning something. And it took me around 15 to 20 minutes to make this, it sped up a bit so you could you know, see the relevant parts. But anyways, I hope you liked the video and the music and if you can subscribe that would be even more awesome. See ya!